Hello and welcome to this new video of Natural Language Processing Zero to Hero. This video is a part of the article I'm writing related to NLP that covers everything from steps involved in text pre-processing to different vectorization methods like back of words, TF-IDF and word to vec and then cover deep learning techniques used in NLP like RNN models and transformer models. For this task, I'll be building a sentiment analysis model using all the available techniques and models to compare the performance of each of them. So I have already written the code and I won't be writing it live on the video uh, because these process can take a lot of time and uh, since we don't have that kind of time on the video. So the first, the very first step is basically connecting my collab file to the Google Drive because that's where I have kept the data. And the data that I'm using is basically the IMDB reviews uh, and uh, I will be performing sentiment analysis on that. So there is a data available on Kegel. Uh, it's 50,000 rows of data that you have, 50,000 reviews that you have. And uh, well, I have downloaded two data. The first was basically, I mean, it was, it was divided into train, test and valid. So there were three different CSV files available. I will be putting the uh, link to that in the description below. So uh, I first used this one and then uh, later on I downloaded this one because I just wanted to check, you know, like if I am splitting the data on my own using train test split, is there going to be any difference in the uh, performance rather than, you know, uh, I'm not really sure how this train test invalid was separated. So that's why uh, for the initial few models, I'll be using this and then I'll be using uh, the other data frame. But basically they are both the same data frame, which contains 50,000 rows of data from IMDB uh, reviews. So uh, I am, so the reason I'm installing transformers is basically for the last part of the video where I'll be using transformer based models like Distilbert and Roberta. Uh, in the beginning, uh, we will just import all these files into the data frame and we will start with the text pre-processing part. So uh, just to give you a basic idea about text pre-processing, there are five major steps that are involved in text pre-processing. So once you have your textual data, there could be multiple ways how you are obtaining your textual data, whether it uh, you can you can be collecting it by scraping the website or you can be collecting it uh, through an API or you might be just getting it uh, you know from the database somewhere so uh, there are different ways and once you have your data you need to perform text pre-processing on that so the very first step in text pre-processing is basically uh, removing any special characters like you know if you're getting it from internet there could be um, different type of uh, tags like you know html tags and all uh, or there could be other type of uh, special characters that you want to remove once you have done that the second most important step is basically lowering the cases you know so you would want to lower the case uh, so that you don't have any duplicates so that would basically be the second step and the third step is basically tokenization so once the text has been cleaned and standardized the next step is to split it into individual tokens or words. This is typically done using a tokenizer, which can split the text based on spaces, punctuation, and other delimiters. Then we remove the stop words. Now, stop words are common words that do not carry much meaning in the sentence, uh, such as the, uh, or an. Removing these stop words can reduce the dimensionality of the text data and improve the performance of downstream tasks like classification or clustering. And the last step is basically stemming or lemmatization. So this would be the final step of text pre-processing and is typically to apply a stemming or lemmatization algorithm to reduce words to their base form. So stemming involves removing the suffixes from the words to create a stem, while lemmatization involves mapping words to their root form based on their part of speech. Basically, the goal of stemming and lemmatization is to reduce the, uh, the variability in the text data to and improve the accuracy of downstream task. So, uh, so th this is the theory part, you know. Uh, let me try to run this and show you what I actually mean. So, I'm basically go going to 
print all these steps and uh, I, for for example i have just taken this text you know it says this is prati gaurav i'm making this video and then i have applied some special characters here uh, related to nlp now these characters are related to i mean if you are getting the data from htm uh, any website then you will be having these characters as well then i have uh, you know i have text which are in capital letters b i I'll, i'll be explaining all the techniques used in nlp and about rnn so when i'm going to run this uh, you know this function that i have created on this specific text then what i'm going to get is something like this so so this is the first step where i'm getting exactly the sentence that i have written the second okay sorry this is uh, after removing the tags so you can see that you know nlp had these tags which has been uh, removed and uh, then the next step is basically removing all non alphabetic characters and lowering keys so you can see that in this particular sentence all the words have been lowered and there are no special characters here then the step of tokenization so basically we are converting the sentence into a list and uh, this is how it will look like and then we are removing all the stop words so in this you can see the, this is i am this you know all these words have been removed which doesn't really have any meaning and in limitization you would see uh, like uh, if you see here techniques techniques has been converted to technique that is the base form of that um and here i have not performed stemming rather i have performed limitization um and i will explain you the reason why limitization and stemming both task are used to bring the words to its uh, base form but what stemming basically does is uh, you know it's very fast but it just uh, remove things like uh, if you talk about techniques you know it will make it technique which would be fine but for few words like historical would be converted to hister or something like that so you know a lot of time it converts words to something that doesn't really have a meaning but lemmatization on the other hand actually you know maps it to the actual word so computationally it is little expensive compared to uh, stemming uh, but the words you get are i mean the i mean the correct words right so uh, if you so depending on the business problem what is your business problem you would want to use stemming or lemmatization if you want to build a chat bot or if you want to uh, build a question answering model then definitely you will go with lemmatization also st- removing stop words is something that will depend on your business case like uh, here i'm using nltk library and nltk library basically removes uh, all the stop words and in the vocabulary of stop words what what uh, nltk library has words like not is also a stop word so you know if you want to compare two words com- and check the similarity like i'm a good boy and i am not a good boy so when you perform remove all the stop words perform text preprocessing both the words will be converted to good boy that's it not will be removed so because of that both the words will be shown as very similar and the cos cosine similarity score would be very close to 1 which is which is wrong right so so a lot of time you would want to build your own stop word vocabulary and uh, sometimes you wouldn't want to remove stop words as well like when you are building a chat bot or something like that so uh, so you don't really have to perform all these steps of text pre processing in all the business cases uh, but it depends on what kind of business case you have and then you will you know perform the pre processing so uh, i performed pre processing on my data all the data frames that i had and um, then i had the final i had a new column in my data frame which looks like this so if i run train you will see there is a new pre processed text uh, column which performs all the pre processing on this particular column text and then gives us a pre processed text and uh, So yeah this is this is what uh, the text pre processing looks like in the next video we are going to 
look at the vectorization techniques and we are going to use uh, SVM classification method along with these techniques after converting the text into vectors. We'll be using SVM to uh, perform sentiment analysis. So that will be all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.